Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Ben Frechette. It's 546 right now. I mean, one of the things you got to love about our region is how often the weather changes so much. If it's sunny and warm, maybe that's not quite your thing. You got an alternative here. Yeah, it certainly keeps my life pretty exciting because, you know, if I lived in a place where the weather was just constant, well, we're, what would be the fun, the fun in, in being? That, right? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, it's a bit of a whiplash effect, but I quite enjoy it. And today we're kind of in the cool direction. We have temperatures this morning that are unseasonably chilly for this time of year. We have 51 right now in Burlington, 40s for pretty much everybody else, especially outside of the Champlain Valley and 38 right now in Saranac Lake. So we could have some frost concerns this morning in the Adirondacks. We'll keep an eye on that for you. This is the view over Plattsburgh. You can see the marina there. We saw what looked like a couple of jet skiers out there just a few minutes ago. Not sure what that's about, but Hey, all the power to you. Normally you could see the green mountains on the skyline here, but things are pretty obscured this morning. A lot of clouds in the region, 47 right now in Plattsburgh. We do have some very light rain that's kind of moving through the region. I'm not quite sure how much of this is actually reaching the ground, but you may be finding a stray drizzle or something like that. Looks like Storm Tracker thinks there's a little snow near Lion Mountain, but I'm a little bit skeptical of that. Certainly, if you're seeing some flakes, please let me know, but I think most of this is falling as rain this morning. We do have a colder air mass on the way. If you can see how I'm outlining these clouds, this is kind of the air coming in from Canada. That's what's going to keep us unseasonably chilly today. However, it doesn't last too long. It gets warmer and also brighter tomorrow, so that's looking like the better of the two weekend days, and then it remains dry and gets very warm next week. So much so that we have to start worrying about drought around here. Everywhere you see outlined in yellow indicates abnormally dry conditions, and it looks like the forecast will stay dry. So if you're a farmer or a gardener, you're going to want to water those plants a little bit more as we won't get much relief from Mother Nature. For today, a lot of clouds in the forecast. Temperatures not really moving a whole lot, only limited to the 50s this afternoon. A northwest wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour will keep us pretty chilly. This is future cast. I put the numbers on here just to kind of emphasize that we're not going to really warm up a lot today. The clouds in place, temperatures still in the middle 50s at 2 o'clock this afternoon, maybe rising to about the upper 50s, but that's pretty much it. We do have the clouds clearing out overnight, so the temperature is expected to drop once again. So again, places like the Adirondacks, maybe the Northeast Kingdom will have to worry about some isolated frost concerns, but we have a lot more sun tomorrow. The temperature's back in the middle to upper 60s and then from there it's really off to the races. We go into the 70s by Monday and then 80s on Tuesday and Wednesday. Starting to see the humidity slowly increase by that time but not oppressive by any means. A lot of sunshine in the forecast too. Really after we get past tomorrow thinking things are mostly sunny through Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. The humidity starts to work into the picture again by the end of the week. That's also when temperatures climb near 90 degrees. But as we look towards next weekend, the heat starts to break. Some thunderstorms in the forecast for next Saturday, which is the first day of summer. And then next Sunday, Dave, believe it or not, is Father's Day. 